I grew up off of 64th in Sheridan, so I've been in this neighborhood forever and I've always come to the Arvada Center. Rod and the whole team here has really supported me and given me really opportunities to grow. Without the Arvada Center, I know that I wouldn't have been able to go on to Project Runway and have the skill set to make the garments that I was making. I have worked here at the Arvada Center for five years previously before getting on the show. He came in and was working as a craftsperson in our costume shop. And he obviously, you know, had a style um, of his own. And the girls in the shop really encouraged me to audition. So I was number 16 and they picked 15 and my heart was broken. And so I auditioned again. They actually invited me to come back and you know, the rest was history, I made it, you know? Mondo, you are the clear winner of this challenge. I'm so excited, I've been waiting so long. And I'd be at the sewing machine and I'd think about all those people that had went home and I would think to myself, gosh, it would be so easy to just give up right now. But being at that machine and sewing and realizing that I had an opportunity and this gift, I wasn't doing it just for myself. I felt I was doing Project Runway not only for me, but for everybody that I love. I think that Arvada Center definitely contributed to my success on the show. It's really a very glamorous, exciting, and original design. Congratulations, Mondo. You are the winner of this challenge. Yes. I really needed to have that experience to have, like, quote-unquote experts to validate who I am as an artist and really understand what I could give back to the creative community. Tell me what you heard the judges say to you. They said, I walk a fine line of costume. As they were critiquing Mondo's work, and it was down to the final two, uh, two of the, the judges were talking about how it was too costumey and a little theatrical. And Sally and I both looked across at each other at the table and thought, oh, it's our fault, we ruined him. <laughs> In Italian, it would be, you'd say, it was molto Mondo. It was very Mondo. You certainly are never going to have a problem having things that are eye-catching and dramatic. It's your thing. I will be honest that when it was down to Gretchen and I on the runway, I thought that I had won. Like, I was preparing myself to be announced the winner. And when I wasn't, I was, I was in shock. I really was. I think that when it comes to this show, it was too overwhelming in the decorative pieces. Every single one was a statement. Not every single look needed to be so special and full of color. And so it was hard, but you know, uh, the support continues. And I think I came off the show with so much more to say than just what I think is fashionable. And I think that's the most rewarding part about having that experience. I've teamed up with Merck on a national HIV education campaign called Living Positive by Design. It's a really important campaign to me because it's really just about letting people living with the disease as I am, HIV, to continue to have a positive outlook in life. It's, you know, it's just a very simple message. But with this message, we really encourage people to um, be strong by really building a relationship with their doctor. I wanted to come back and Rod gave me the opportunity to come back for Hairspray and I think it's a perfect fit because just the time period for me, I love this kind of modern, more edgy time period. And I feel like, yes, my stuff is very costumey, it's lots of color, it's very bold statement, but it's a runway show, it should be a fantasy. When I do shows, like fashion shows, runway shows, I am always thinking about every little detail, the music. Um, this, you know, the video, the scenery, what, the lights, everything. So to me, yeah, it is theater. My gut leans more towards this. Over. Absolutely. And yeah. It'll this. pop their skin tone and yep. it'll be beautiful. All right, cool. So I think okay, disco so. silver and plain gold. His work is amazing. And he had approached me previously about the idea of designing. And when he came to me this time, I was just so surprised because he's so busy right now. And yet he wanted to do this. And, and I thought it was a perfect combination um, for his style and his approach and what we need for the show. So I, I jumped at the chance to, to work with him. And then that changed for, for Penny as well. I mean, she's got to definitely have that kind of nerdy, weird. Well, in the beginning, I really felt like Penny should look like her mom makes all her clothes. Yeah. And cut from the same pattern, but just different colors, yep. different patterns. 
Like now that I'm designing Hairspray, I think about each character and what their little quirks are. So that's how I'm approaching this. I am a firm believer that, you know, I'm a team player. I am the designer, but I need to be down in the shop and let the ladies know that I'm working just as hard as they are. Because I feel like even between all the different shops, this, the scene shop, the uh, prop shop, the costume shop, I think when you see it on stage, it should look like we have all been really communicating and working together to achieve like this beautiful, full picture. I hope that this one really brings it home. So I want to be the designer that they are uh, going to be the happiest with. Uh, that's what I'm working for, you know. That I have to look at it like a, like a, uh, like a competition again, you know, because that's really when I excel. The end result is what everybody is coming to see. And I know that with all the help from the girls here in the shop that this is going to be a really big achievement. And I'm so excited to be back because they're like all my friends, so it'll be fun to work with them again.